hey everyone so today I'm going to discuss about how we can crack the interview of UI bot and what are the questions that are majorly asked in the interviews so let's begin with the first question that is what is the difference between the Excel and the workbook activities so here you can see in this the Excel should be installed in the system to use as if you want to use the Excel application scope but here few activities can work if the Excel is not installed here we cannot access the chart and diagram related data but here access the chart and diagram related data can be accessed in the workbook access activity will not give error if file is already open for example this file it is already open so this is the test file and if I am just let me run it it through the Excel so this is like the Excel activities I have used if I'm going to run this you can see like it will not going to give any error okay wait for a second let it run so this is complete you see the output transaction so transaction process execution ended you see and the Excel I've just updated few things here but if you check it with the workbook if I'm going to run this you will see a pop-up message which appear so you can see it's a runtime execution error where it's saying like the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process so this is one of the basic difference now if we come to the macro we can run macro file in Excel but we cannot run the macro files because you can see the macro what is so if you search here for execute macro if you're going to put it here directly it will going to error because this this need Excel application scope if I will put this inside the application scope for example if I put this in Excel activities inside the Excel application scope see it's not giving any error so we can use the macros in the Excel application scope means the Excel activities but not in workbook prefer when there is a multiple operation one after the other on Excel file not preferred one after means for example you know that you will going to write the values in the Excel at the four to five cells so I am using the Excel application scope and put all the right activity one after the other so I have defined the path only once but if you'll see the workbook in the case of workbook so in the each activity I have defined the path so it's better not to define the paths in each and every activities so instead of using this workbook we can use the the Excel application scope now moving forward we can get all sheet name from Excel application scope output here we cannot how so if you see here Excel application scope is having the output here and I'm using this output in the for each iteration just put here the output dot get dot get sheets you're going now I'm all have all the sheets I'm going to write all the sheets in the output you can see like if there is sheet 1 let me create sheet 2 save it and if I'm going to run the it you will see like it will going to fetch the, the name of the two sheets check the output so this sheet 1 sheet 2 but instead if you use the workbook there's no such option is available not even read if you see workbook that is the read range so it's, it's only have the output as a data table so if you want the sheet names number of sheets name that would in your Excel then you can directly use 
the Excel application scope that's that is one the positive point that have so this is it uh, for the difference in the Excel and the workbook so next I'm going to discuss what is the difference between the simulate and the send window message so we're going to cover this in the next video this is it for today thank you and please subscribe my channel for more videos bye bye